Hello everybody, welcome back to a new video tutorial. Now, we are going to be going over Django in this tutorial. Uh, one thing, let me get this out of the way, is that uh, this is going to be for fairly intermediate to advanced users, which means you know how packages work, how uh, the object oriented model works, how classes, inheritance, etc, etc work. Uh, if you don't, uh, this is going to be a troublesome tutorial, and I'll try to go over most of the things, but uh, you're up to your own in this time. You can ask the questions in the comments, of course. Anywho. Uh, let's get started with Django. Now Django is a Python based web framework which allows you to get up and running really really quickly. Even the tagline says that it's for professionals with deadlines which is really really good uh, when you're handling so many projects and you want to get things done on the fly, right? Uh, also you might have uh, heard of terms such as MVT or MVC. Now Django works on the MVT architecture which is model view template architecture. Let me explain what that is. So suppose a user makes the request to your Django server. Uh, that request is in the form of a URL. That URL is trying to navigate the user to the dashboard of the web application. Now, in any standard web application, the user will need to be logged in to access the dashboard, right? Anywho, we'll get on that later. So, the URL is mapped to a particular view. For example, the dashboard URL uh, will have a particular view which it will hit uh, and uh, ask the view to give a response to the user. Now, what is the view? A view is a Python logic where you can specify how to handle the request. For example, suppose the user is trying to log in, uh, trying to access the dashboard of the web application, but uh, hasn't logged in yet. So you can redirect the user to the login page, uh, and that's how the views work. Now, what views do is actually, um, what do you say, interact with the model, and uh, a model is just a table in the database. It's as simple as that. And the fun part is you don't have to write any raw SQL to get the data from the table. Uh, all you have to do is write Python code, which is very intuitive and you can get a hang of it really quickly. How we are able to do it, it is we use an ORM, which is stands for Object Relational Mapping. Uh, more on that later. Anyway, uh, suppose the user is logged in and is accessing the dashboard. So some basic thing that you'd want to show uh, the user is uh, the username over here and uh, let's say his feed of some sort, right? S and that feed is going to be stored in the model. Now, the view queries the model, gets all the data related to that user, and then goes, displays that uh, data to the template. Now, a template in the simplest terms put is the HTML file that the user sees. Uh, so, as you can see over here, this is the template that we are currently seeing. Anyway, uh, with all that out of the way, let's get started. So this is my um, Linux bash shell over here and I'm in the tutorials directory. Now what we're going to do is make a directory called uh, Django Tutorials Environment and we're going to cd into that. Now this is an empty directory. What we're going to do is create a virtual environment. So for most of the users I am assuming you guys use uh, virtual env. So what you can do is create a virtual environment through this command. Now, this is calling the Python 3 version. Stop using Python 2, guys, by the way. This has been discontinued and will officially go into retirement in April, I suppose. Uh, there's something supposed to be done. Nah, anywho, so what we do is we call Python 3, we get the dash m command, which says uh, call this module. Uh, the module name is virtual env, and we create a virtual environment in the current directory. Now, earlier it was empty, and now we have magic over here. So we have the Python environment over here. Uh, now what we can do to activate the environment is go to source and bin and activate. Now activate is a file inside the bin directory which activates your virtual environment. Why we use a virtual environment? Like I said, you should already know that. Anyway, so we have virtual environment activated. As you can see over here, this is the virtual environment. Anywho, uh, let's do a pip list. This is going to list all of the packages that are installed in our virtual environment. As you can see, not a lot. Now what we can do is pip install Django. This is going to install the three point something version of the Django. Uh, as you can see, this installs pip list uh, Django version 3.0.2. Now uh, we are going to create a, excuse me, Django admin start project. Is that the spelling correct? Yeah. So we're going to create a project. So Django admin is the command that you get after installing Django itself. After you have uh, installed it, we can start a project and I'm going to name it uh, TechRoos. Let's just suppose I'm making a website. Uh, hit enter, ls. Now you have a new folder called TechRoos. Now we can cd into it. 
and as you can see we have a file and a folder over here we'll talk about this in the later tutorials uh, what we're going to do is run the server so what I'm going to do is run the server and python3 manage.py run server hit enter and as you can see starting development server at this URL click on this and as you can see we have the basic web application uh, functionality up and running so uh, we went to a URL the URL was mapped to a view and the view decided to show us this page which is the template anyway uh, we click control C and for this tutorial this is it the next tutorial we're going to be messing around with manage.py files uh, setting up your database server uh, setting up your database etc uh, etc et so i hope you like this video if you did uh, hit like subscribe comment all that good stuff if you dislike this video dislike this video and if you have any suggestions please leave them in the comments down below thank you